Happy Saturday, you guys. I'm doing a real quick in case you missed it. I covered the story about Madeline Soto when it came out last week, and there was an update. Unfortunately, the body of Madeline Soto was found. She had went missing shortly after her 13th birthday, which was on a Thursday, I believe, and she left behind her cell phone. And I stated in my video that I just didn't think that a 13-year-old girl would leave behind her cell phone. And on the cell phone, she had social media posts and texts to friends saying that when she turned 13, that she wanted to live in the woods. That is what she sent to friends. And I said, it was alleged. It was alleged. I'm not saying that there's not a little 13 year old girl out there that doesn't want to live in the woods, but I just, this story was just, it just was so far fetched to me. It really, it really was. And I did think that the boyfriend was behind it. The mother and boyfriend and various friends were asked questions afterwards. And, you know, they did their investigation and there was a lot more information that was detected in his arrest. Detectives believe that Madeline was was pretty much murdered inside her home and then her body was moved to the woods. Stephen Stearns was arrested again last week for he had some stuff on his phone. Now some articles say the SA videos, the child SA videos on his phone, and Orlando.com says they believe that these crimes happened in the home. Now I'm not really sure what they're quite saying. Is it a possibility that this little girl was on his phone? I'm not sure. I hope not. But either they're meaning that she, as in Madeline, was on his cell phone, or maybe the files were downloaded in the home, which kind of doesn't make sense to me, but it's one of the two from what I can understand. Stearns previously told police that he had dropped Madeline off at school, but there's video evidence, CCC footage, that shows that Madeline was inside the car and they believe she was deceased at that time time inside the car. Plus, there's also CCC footage of Stearns discarding evidence in the complex dumpster at 7.35 a.m. Warning that Madeline was supposed to be on her way to school. He's putting in the complex dumpster her backpack, her school-used laptop. He's putting that in the dumpster. So she probably was definitely already dead. My thing is, was this premeditated? Was he already abusing her prior? And this time it just got out of hand? Or was he going to wait until she turned 13 to abuse her and maybe Madeline fought back? And he believed that she would tell. And he had to get rid of her so that she wouldn't tell her mother and that he would face face charges. Horrible story. Very horrible story. And again, my condolences to the friends and the family that loved and cared for Madeline Soto and justice for Madeline.